And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Dying Light 2, mostly uh, Peacekeeper missions slash dialogue. Hope everyone's enjoying this series, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button, let's get back into some more gameplay. Hey, where's dispatch? There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. They've already attacked two of our camps. Do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Looking for things to do? Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry. Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Fuck. Oh Hater's in really bad shape. Save him! You Take me. him to the infirmary! Don't Summon the medics! We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Aider survives. We lost too many people in Old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. I hope Aider survives. He's one of our most dedicated men. Full steam ahead to value. You ain't letting that big one get away. Got the best stuff. You want it? I got it. I'll be on her water on this purchase, but I want it. Been casting for one of those. X marks the spot. Come back and shop again.
Keep coming, keep. You're gonna drown in selection. That's what I call some nice booty. Thanks for selling me your spare. Just the treasure I was searching for. About time I ran across one of these. Hmm, glad you offered me that. You're firing all tubes. Landed a big one. Do I got good stuff? Or do I got good stuff? Juan would rather enjoy his caviar than take care of that land to the brain. Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. Know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden. What do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz, that's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the Renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way, the signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. All right, sir. Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? 
The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first, see what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Go. Dignity and peace, brother. You're fighting the good fight. Tell me what's up with you instead. I found a complaint about the dam, and a request to be assigned better quarters. And can you imagine? Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? No, wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Rena is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Matt will not forgive the renegades for- In the Juan? Hayden, getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. Bagged and tagged. I'm always here to I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. You know, you ones, my shop is your oyster. I know that's right. Didn't know you had such great taste.
You sure can have that. In a buying mood, are you? Versatile. Very versatile. Looking forward to your return visit. I forgot about the infect ring. You don't say. Renegades. I can play a way to resolve this Juan Rayner? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you. From Meyer and the commander. And my name's... I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang-up with the Renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please... Make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. All right, listen, I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. You really need them? Or Jack? What'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But... I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So, you have to try harder. <sighs> okay. <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. <sighs> I told you. Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. Come, man. You chose your side, and it's not ours. The PKs sure missed out on the renegades this time. This'll bring trouble for sure. Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. 
He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Danier likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. I think we need a little action. I need to just break this thing already. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and liberate this camp. Inhibitor container nearby. Oh, I'm sorry, something funky going on? I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't see me. I think you saw me. But you didn't. See me? What's that? You can't be serious. What are you talking about? I think you can't be serious. What the fuck did this happen? What the fuck ever? I think we got a big problem over here. So much movement. Well, this is a perfect predicament. Alrighty, time to make more stuff. Where are you, you fuckwad? Would you get alone? <laughs> 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 That's why I upgrade the mollies. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be needing those. Alrighty. So I do need to find where the crank is for this thing. <laughs> uh, I think it's right over there. Yeah. Okay. So I need the loot area and then. Everything in the area, because you never know if you're gonna come back there or not. Sometimes it's good stuff, sometimes not so good stuff. Alright, it's 
do a little pulse. Nothing more in there. Cool. Alrighty. Come on, sir. Anybody else see that? What the fuck? Right stuff from here. It's not great stuff. Let's put it this way: it's not really that helpful of stuff we're getting from here. I was hoping it might be better. Mm. All right, second level. Check it out. All right, we have a baggie. Looking for like alcohol, uh, feathers, and stuff like that. Or just stuff that I can physically sell. That works too. is clear. Yes, please. I'll 
take that stuff. Can you imagine if you didn't have any of this lootable stuff? And you're just forced to kind of get stuff of em off enemies and stuff? It'd be agonizing trying to get enough levels and getting tools to fight these enemies. Yeah, truth. In the simplest way possible. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Alrighty. By the dust, and I want another one back to the dust. Hello, anyone home? Here, loot stuff. And yeah, he's just listening to me. I'm like, the fudge. Eh, I'll come in. Action and adventure is fun too. That's the both worlds. All right, so. Alright, I've looted as much as I can physically find. Go back over here. I believe I gotta go this way. Yes, yes.
anyways, this looks like a good place to stop. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.